This video is brought to you by Coursera. Hi, my name is Sandra, and having been in various different service security roles in my early career, I'll be sharing with you the top four entry-level roles in service security. These roles will typically fall into the following, an engineer versus an analyst. Think of these as very high level, as it primarily differentiates the roles that build, aka an engineer, to be more development heavy, setting up configs and debugging, compared to the roles that use those tools to do hands-on work, aka an analyst, who may be reviewing log anomalies, dealing with incidents, and working on a ticketing queue. The roles we'll be discussing in today's video include cybersecurity analysts slash SOC analysts, junior pen testers, cybersecurity engineers, and compliance analysts. Starting off with the cybersecurity analyst role, which can also be referred to as an SOC analyst, plays a critical role in safeguarding an organization's digital assets and sensitive information. Typically, they focus on monitoring network traffic, analyzing security alerts, and responding to incidents. Their responsibilities also include identifying any potential security breaches, investigating security incidents, and recommending countermeasures to mitigate risks. Entry-level analysts may collaborate with more senior or specialized cybersecurity roles to implement security policies and procedures, conduct security assessments, and help maintain security tools and technologies. Additionally, they stay current with emerging threats and vulnerabilities, contributing to the organization's overall security posture. This is one of the most foundational entry-level roles in cybersecurity, providing hands-on experience and a deep understanding of the ever-changing landscape of information security. One of the ways I recommend learning the foundational cybersecurity skills you'll need, plus experience with projects and labs, is by taking cybersecurity courses and professional certificates available on Coursera. Coursera provides access to a variety of professional certificate programs, team training, and short courses to help learners explore different areas in cybersecurity and beyond. These are self-paced, 100% online courses designed to help learners acquire specific skills and knowledge in various fields like cybersecurity, IT, analytics, and more. These certificates are developed by top universities and industry leaders, ensuring you're learning from top instructors in their fields. Once you complete the program, you'll receive a certificate that can enhance your resume and help you stand out to employers. Coursera partners with more than 300 leading universities and companies to bring flexible, affordable, job-relevant online learning to individuals and organizations worldwide. Professional certificates offer flexible online training from industry leaders like Google, IBM, Microsoft, and more, designed to get you job ready for high growth fields in as little as six months. You can learn from anywhere, anytime, whether you're working full-time, have family commitments, or working through a career change, you can fit learning on Coursera into your schedule. Coursera professional certificates can be completed self-paced and are fully flexible to be catered towards your learning goals. One of the top cybersecurity professional certificates on Coursera is the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate Program. Let's dive a bit deeper into why this is one of the best programs out there for beginners trying to break into cybersecurity. First things first, you don't need any previous experience or degree to take the program, which means you can come in as a complete beginner and learn everything from this one program. It is designed specifically to help you gain the foundational skills and knowledge needed to start a career in cybersecurity in roles like cybersecurity analyst, security operations center analyst or SOC analyst, and more. Once you complete the program, you'll also get access to the CompTIA Security Plus exam and training at a discounted price and a dual credential once you complete both the professional certificate and the Security Plus certification exam. You'll also get access to career resources like resume reviews, mock interviews with interactive tools, planning your career with Coursera's job search guide, and access to connect with 150 plus employers in Google's employer consortium when you complete the course. If you're interested in just taking one of the cybersecurity courses that are part of the certificate program, you're also able to enroll directly to learn the specific skill sets that you're most interested in. On the flip side, if you're planning on taking multiple courses and professional certificates, 
You'll also have the option to get Coursera Plus, which is a subscription plan that provides subscribers with unlimited access to an extensive list of courses, specializations, and professional certificates. The best part of these programs is the flexibility and being able to learn at your own pace. Explore Coursera's free cybersecurity career guide, including many cybersecurity programs you can start with a seven-day free trial. Linked in my description below. Next up, a junior pen tester specializes in assessing the security of computer systems, networks, applications, and other digital assets. The main goal is to find and remediate these known or exploitable vulnerabilities before any malicious actors do. Your systems and applications are only as strong as your weakest link, so you want to ensure that proper pen tests are conducted on a regular basis to ensure that you're better protected against security vulnerabilities and risks. The Google courses on Coursera that I recommend for anyone interested in pen testing are the Tools of the Trade, Linux and SQL, and Assets, Threats, and Vulnerabilities. These two courses cover fundamental skills for ethical hackers and pen testers, including Linux, Bash scripting, and the relationship between operating systems, applications, and hardware plus analyzing an attack surface to find risks and vulnerabilities. An entry-level cybersecurity engineer will work alongside more experienced engineers and security teams to implement security measures, assess vulnerabilities, and assist with the management of security tools and apps. Their responsibilities include tasks such as configuring firewalls, monitoring network traffic for suspicious activities, and patching assets. Entry-level cybersecurity engineers may also be included in any routine cybersecurity audits, ensuring that systems and networks are following any established security protocols and baselines. Since security engineers are more technical than the typical analyst role, one of the best skills to learn for this role is scripting. One of the best beginner-friendly coding languages out there is Python, especially for lightweight scripting and automation. The Automate Cybersecurity Tasks with Python course by Google on Coursera provides a great introduction to how Python programming is used in cybersecurity using regex and practice debugging code. Last but not least, a compliance analyst is responsible for ensuring that a company follows all the requirements and regulations that apply to its industry from a compliance standpoint. They review documents, policies, and procedures to make sure they meet legal requirements and industry standards. They may also be involved in conducting recurring audits or investigations to identify any potential non-conformities. While this is a very specialized area in cybersecurity, it is also one of the most important since companies may have annual audits or certifications that they need to continue doing business in their field which means this role is directly tied to the company's bottom line and their ability to attract and retain customers. Two great Google courses on Coursera to take to gain more insight into what you'll need to know for this role include Foundations of Cybersecurity and Play It Safe, Manage Security Risks, where you'll learn more about security frameworks and controls to protect business operations and identify risks to business operations. Alright, hopefully this video covered everything you need to know about the top four entry-level roles in cybersecurity. Thank you again to Coursera for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps the channel, and I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12pm, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!